We're here at AirVenture. It's opening day and there's a lot of excitement going on. One of the places where people are clustering around is an airplane that we've seen from a company we know, but not an airplane we know. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm speaking with Nigel Mott. You're the president, right? Yes, that's of right. Of Glass Air. And, um, well, tell us a little bit about your background and the company, and then we'll come back to this airplane we're sitting in. My background, I've been in aviation my whole career. I started off with a, a Boeing supplier. In 2001, after Glass Air had come out of the bank for FC, Michael Vai hired me to uh, come in, look at the operations, get the company going again. I've been with Glass Air ever since then. We brought the Sportsman online, we introduced the two-week to taxi program. In 2012, the company was acquired by the Jilin Hansen Group from China. And now we've started some new development projects, and the Merlin is our entry into the LSC. Okay, very good. That's a great summary there. Uh, Glass Air is a very storied name in aviation for many years. Yes, it had a little hiccup back there a while, a few years ago, as you mentioned. Uh, but that didn't really affect the airplanes. Now, a lot of people know Glass Air, the retractable gear, go really fast airplanes. The Glass Star kind of came along later, and now you've developed that line and are now going one notch lower in the set spectrum, I guess you call That's it. That's right. Speed spectrum. That's right, yeah. So, Glass. Uh, glass Air, all composite, I believe. Yes. Glass Star is a mixed uh, yes. platform with composite and metal, and that's the sort of the technique you're going to use on the Merlin. Yes. The Glass Star and the Sportsman have aluminum skins. The Merlin will have composite skins, and we decided to go that way because of the advances in materials, in terms of bonding, and it goes together so quickly. So we're not, we don't have thousands of rivets to get the skins on. True. Very quick to bond the, the skins. We can do it in one step. It's literally done in a day. So from a manufacturing standpoint, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so you had, uh, you've been doing experimental amateur built for a long time. And in fact, that's been the heart of the company. This is going to be your first project of fully built, is it? Yes. Yes. Uh, you, now the two-week to taxi, that's been a very famous thing and I understand you're the main guy behind that. That's right. So yes. that's cool, good accomplishment there. That uh, did a lot of good for the company and the industry in many ways, I think, showing that it's not so difficult. But now you're going to take all that work out, you're going to fully build it for them and, um, well, why did you decide to go this direction? Well, obviously with the LSA market, it's much more straightforward to do that than doing a full-time certificate certification. So. Uh, we saw the opportunity there. We'll be the only high-wing LSA aircraft at this level. So as you can see, the, the interior is very nicely appointed. We've gone with the latest Dyna avionics. We've gone with the Rotax 912 IS engine. So we're really shooting for the high -end. Taking it's all the high -end. made Yeah, and an all-American-made product, albeit with Chinese ownership. Yes. It's all being done in the United States. Now, uh, just as a side uh, note to that, not only are you going to be doing this, but we heard in an announcement yesterday that you're going to be doing some building of this new MVP seaplane. That's right. So you're going to be kind of in two LSA, in a sense, that, not that's, under your that's mark. Right. But, uh, and I would say very different market segments yeah, completely for, different. for them. And with the, uh, with the MVP, uh, the Jilin Hansen Group, our parent company out of China, invested in them. We spent... Ah, uh, okay, so they're tying into that project as well. Yeah, so it just made sense for Glass Air to become involved with the project. And Mike Van Stoggen, who is the lead engineer on the MVP, we've worked with him over the years on different projects okay. with Glass Air Aviation. I met Daryl Linz a couple of years ago, and it seemed to be a really good fit. And the goal there, as, as, I, as they mentioned in their press conference, is to get the plane to market quickly. So we don't want to be 10 years out. And we think with using our experience with the two week taxi program, their approach to the engineering is that is very but now back to the Merlin. This is a, your total internal project. We'll be doing both of those things, but uh, this one is fully built only. And uh, when do you think you'll? Well, you're not flying yet. Uh, no, this right is now, a full. Go. This is a full engineering mock-up. We'll okay. be using this actual structure here for some of the engineering testing that we have to do to meet the ASTM requirements. And right now, back at the shop, the guys that are there are working on the flying prototype. Ah, okay. And, and so when do you think you'll get the air? We will be in the air in October. With that. Oh, okay. So, so every term. and we don't we don't have the cowl off this right now, but the firewall forward is completely engineered. The as you can see, the avionics are engineered. 
So it's really just putting the plane together. And as I mentioned, with the construction techniques that we're using, the airframe together. I see you've got the new Dynon uh, Skyview Touch, which yes. is, just came out earlier yep. this year. Uh, and it looks like a full Dynon package in here, as a matter of fact. I see you've got a BRS parachute in here as well. We're always glad to see those in devices. And uh, this is a big, roomy, comfortable cockpit. How, how wide is it going to be at the final iteration? 46 inches. 46, so okay, right up there with the big guys. Yeah. And a lovely, handsome airplane. We'll look forward to flying it when you got it ready for us. The joystick gives me some reminder of the uh, Cessna Skycatcher. It, uh, not it, exactly, but it looks similar. Yes, and that's that's what we looked at and decided this was a good way to go. It gives you much more leg room down yeah, below. Yeah, I don't have anything here yeah. to and run you still my got the to. you still got the nice feel of the stick. Right. Yeah, kind of a, a, joy, uh, a yoke stick or something. Yes. Uh, we need a new yeah. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys work on a new good name, well. would you? Yeah. How's your elbow room? In that well, seat. Very good. It looks like uh, you know we don't have doors on the airplane yet. What are you thinking about with doors, Nigel? The, Which way the are you doors go will doors? most likely be gull wing. Okay. So that's one of the last design decisions that we've got to make here. But that's what we're shooting. For. Okay. And cool. again, that gives you part of it was also very easy access to the aircraft. Yeah. So that's one thing. One thing when we looked at LSAs, we thought there was an opportunity to do that. Yeah, high wing are very easily accessible and uh, swinging your legs in, and especially with no stick in the way. The joystick doesn't go down on the floor, I mean, uh, look pretty straightforward. Uh, braking, uh, you're going to use toll braking? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so differential braking. And I noticed when I was outside, we'll have some static shots as we're talking here. Uh, it's a castering nose wheel, is it? Yes. Which is, yeah, again, a technique that you're already familiar with on your other airplanes, yeah. right? So many of our techniques we've just brought straight over to this. Even if you look at it, the, the lines, we've had lots of comments that it looks like a smaller sportsman. So we've tried to keep it in the product. Uh, 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 this has a, a nose wheel on it. Are you going to stick with nose wheel? Are you going to offer both first, nose wheel and tail? First option, we will stick with the nose wheel and then we'll see where we go. Okay. So I'm looking at your car that you've got now. You're speculating about this because you haven't flown yet. But right. you've got a lot of experience in building and designing airplanes. so. I'm guessing you're pretty right. Max speed 120 knots, so you're right at the top of the category there. In uh, cruise at 105, you're going to use the Rotax engine with the IS Sport. Yes. The new higher yes. torque version from those folks. Um, looking at uh, useful load, pretty strong, 530 pounds. What's the empty weight of the airplane? So the empty weight will be looking right at, again, like you said, we don't have exact numbers, but we're shooting for 750, so I think we'll end up 750 to 800 pounds, and obviously that will depend on options. Sure, what you do. Yeah. So let's talk about options a little bit. You got a really loaded panel here, and I think you said you got like a couple options for people. That's right, and it, it really, and, and again, to get to market quickly, we've been trying to keep it very simple. So really two options. One will be the chute, that's not standard on the plane, and the second will be a, a higher end avionics package. So that what and that's what we're seeing here. So we'll have the autopilot. Oh, so you'll have a more basic version screen. of this, yes. or the big double ten-inch screens from yes, Dynon exactly. is, is your upside choice. Yeah. And even the basic, even the basic will be the one ten-inch screen though, touch screen. So uh, we don't normally do dates on these videos because people might be watching this thing years into the future. So our fans on YouTube, uh, please keep this in mind, but this is AirVenture 2014. Will you have a flying example ready for sale in 2015? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> We're looking at first deliveries, uh, first quarter next year. Okay, so we might be seeing close. you down at the uh, Seabreaker Sun and Fun with a flying airplane. Well, we'll look forward to taking that opportunity to fly the airplane with one of your guys as soon as that's possible. And. Uh, First of all, uh, we've gotten a bunch of information about it. People are going to want to track how this goes, Nigel. So where do we want to send them on the web? We'll put it up on the screen. Just give us your uh, best place to go to is glassairaviation.com. Glassairaviation.com. I'll get you started. Excellent. I'll have more information about the uh, Merlin as it comes further and further to market. You can find that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Nigel here and myself at AirVenture. Great. Thank you, Dan. Pleasure.